द रेवोल्यूशनाइजिंग चैट वोट चैट जी पी टी इज वेरी मच इन न्यूज एंड नाउ द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट इज थिंकिंग टू मेक अ परफेक्ट यूज ऑफ इट रेवोल्यूशनराइजिंग टेक्निक हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द इन फोकस सीरीज सेक्शन ऑफ दृष्टि आई ए एस आई एम आयशा सिंह एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट भाषिनी इनिशिएटिव इन विच द गवर्नमेंट इज प्लानिंग टू इंक्लूड द टेक्निक ऑफ चैट जी पी टी ऑन व्हाट्सएप एंड थिंकिंग ऑफ कनेक्टिंग अ लॉट मेनी नंबर ऑफ पीपल थ्रू इट सो लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द टाइम लाइन ऑफ द वीडियो फर्स्ट वी विल बी लुकिंग एट द न्यूज देन वॉट इज भाषिनी इनिशिएटिव बाय द एम ई आई टी वाई देन हाउ विल द चैट बोर्ड वर्क और हाउ विल द भाषिनी इनिशिएटिव वुड एक्चुअली वर्क एंड देन वॉट इज भाषा दान then about the chat gpt which has been in news since last 3 4 months very much in news then steps to overcome the limitations of chat gpt in the end a prelims mcq so this topic is of relevance from general studies paper 2 first is governance and education see from exam perspective you should be able to know first about the bhasha dan and then about the bhashini initiative so let's get started and see the news and the news has been taken from the indian express and it reads chat gpt on whatsapp so this is a very intriguing statement that chat gpt on what what does it mean then government's bhashini initiative to use artificial intelligence for beneficiaries of welfare schemes so the government is thinking that when the chat gpt is becoming so useful for the people and is connecting so many people and is behaving in a dialogic way then why is it, why is it that we are not using it for the welfare of the people so the government has come up with a bhashini initiative under which they will be using the chat gpt and its technique of giving answers and then again uh, having a dialogic conversation with people so that this chat gpt can be used for a bigger purpose for a productive purpose that for the welfare of the people so we will see that what is it that is bhashini initiative and how chat gpt would work for the betterment of it so what has happened is to harness the power of artificial intelligence for the country's estimated 150 million farmers whatsapp could soon facilitate search on key government schemes powered by the sensational ai chatbot that is chat gpt so what has happened is see what is chat gpt chat gpt works on the technique of artificial intelligence and is dialogic in way that is you first you ask a question then chat gpt ba uh, based on that question would give you an appropriate answer and then again if you would ask an question to chat gpt then again chat gpt would give you an answer so this is a dialogic way of conversation so when chat gpt is able to give you such productive and such good answers that can actually benefit people then why is it that we are not using it for the welfare of the people when such a productive tool is in our hands then now an ambitious national level program that aims to build vast crowd sourced data sets with samples of indian voices in several local languages so what has happened is see india is a diverse country for so after every 3 to 4 kilometers we will be able to find a different dialect being spoken so what the government is thinking they are thinking of an ambitious national level program it means an all india level program and its aim would be to crowd source data sets it means that all of from all over india people in their own vernacular language or in their own dialect can feed data into the chat gpt or they can crowd source data sets they can give their own data and can solve people's problem by giving answers to the different questions and then all the people who are not very well comfortable with you can say hindi or english majority of the the people are not comfortable with english so they can ask questions to the chat gpt in their own vernacular language and can also receive the answer of it with samples of indian voices in several local languages so when the voices or the chat gpt will be able to give you the answer in the 
सेवरल लोकल लैंग्वेजेस इट मीन्स वर्नेक्युलर लैंग्वेजेस तो इमेजिन द नंबर ऑफ पीपल द नंबर ऑफ पीपल हु वुड बी इम्पैक्टेड बाय दिस बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ द पीपल नाउ अड इज कैन नॉट एंड डू नॉट यूज टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज दे थिंक दैट इट इज associated with the language english said that english language is necessary so imagine the all the all the majority of the population who are not comfortable with the english language but they can communicate through whatsapp which is such a huge platform such a huge messaging platform majority of the people are present on whatsapp so they can get the answers of their problem in their own vernacular or in their own common language so the connectivity and the dialogic capacity will increase to 1000 many folds and this if re really works out well can be a really revolutionizing idea because this will connect so many people and especially from the people who are living in far sighted areas who are really not able to connect to the majority of the people then they will also be able to feel connected through this now let us talk about bhashini initiative so actually what is bhashini initiative so if you will go on the name bhashini bhasha bhasha means language whatever you are able to speak or communicate to people so a small team at the ministry of electronics and it that is meity so the ministry which is responsible for it is the ministry of electronics and it you should be able to know that this is an important point ministries are always important from the exam perspective so the ministry of electronics and it a small team is building a whatsapp based chatbot so the chatbot with the technology of chat gpt would be on whatsapp because whatsapp is a um, a messaging app which which connects majority of the people so that is why the platform or the media is whatsapp that relies on information generated by chat gpt to return appropriate responses to queries so what will happen is this chatbot which will be present on whatsapp it will generate answers of the people's queries through the chat gpt and this chat gpt will receive information from the people across the nation who will be giving their uh, giving the answers or giving the data set in their own language then the local language translation mission the local language translation mission that aims to break the barrier between various indian tongues by using available technology so if the data sets will be able to come in the vernacular languages or in the local languages that this can work largely on the basis of local language translation mission because when people will ask the question on the chat gpt based, based technology in their own language then they will be able to receive answer in their own language also because now it is restricted to english but if we will be able to give them the data sets in the vernacular languages and in the local languages then only the answer that they will be they will be receiving will also be in the same language and this will break the barrier between the languages because now whatever many technology or the technology what people think is mainly driven by the language english so majority of the people do not come there then this will also help developers to offer all indians easy access to the internet and digital services in their native languages now also majority of the people do not know that there is an option whenever we go on any site that there is an option that they can switch languages so they can also read or write something in their own languages but this is not as appropriate or as on the large scale as Uh, other languages like english or hindi so many a people would also be able to do that in their own native languages and this will make the platform more connecting more dialogic and more understanding for more number of people then how will the chatbot work the whatsapp based chat gpt based chatbot how will it actually work so till now it has not been developed it is in the testing phase and there is a portal which has been made available on the government website and this is currently under testing and the aim is to build and develop an ecosystem where various stake stakeholders can unite to maintain an ever evolving repository of data 
ट्रेनिंग एंड बेंचमार्क डेटा सेट ओपन मॉडल टूल्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजीज तो द इम्पोर्टेंट वर्ड हेयर इज इको सिस्टम वी विल बी एबल टू मेक एन इको सिस्टम वेयर डिफरेंट पीपल्स ऑफ डिफरेंट डायलेक्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस ऑफ डिफरेंट स्टेट वुड कम एंड सी थिंग्स वॉट एवर इज रिक्वायर्ड बाय देम एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो गेट आंसर्स ऑफ देयर क्वेरीज एंड इन देयर ओन लैंग्वेजेस इन विच दे फील वेरी कंफर्टेबल then comes the bhasha daan which is a part of the bhashini initiative so this bhasha daan forms a very important part of the bhashini initiative and you should be able to know that if the question comes that bhasha daan is re is related to what or bhasha daan is associated to what so you should be able to know that bhasha daan is associated with the bhashini initiative by the by which ministry it is the ministry of mitty so bhasha daan is an ambitious project which aims to crowd source voice data sets in multiple indian languages as part of project bhashini so the aim of the project bhashini is to collect data sets from different languages and so this collecting uh, data sets in different languages is what comes under bhasha daan and under this people can contribute in three key ways so how the people will be able to contribute or how the people will be able to give data data sets under the project bhashini is through three ways and one of them is by recording their voice samples in multiple indian languages so they can record their own voice samples and can send it to them then by typing out a sentence being played they can also type it through so these are the things which you people can also do then by translating text from one language into another so and translation is something which is very important because this can be done only by people who understand two different languages because many a times what problem arises is that the per the person is trying to say something else but the translation is doing something else so these are the few ways through which people can contribute in the ambitious project of bhasha daan which tries to collect databases and the data sets from different different languages and try to become a, uh, become a repository where people can get answers of their queries in their own simple language which makes it easy for them to understand things now let's talk about chat gpt in my in many previous videos i've talked about chat gpt so a very brief talk i will do about the chat gpt so that is chat gpt is an artificial intelligence powered chatbot which is developed by the artificial intelligence startup open ai and the technology that is the artificial intelligence technology functions by leveraging extensive data to learn how to respond to user prompt in human like manner the important word here is human like manner so artificial intelligence gives you an technique where a person who wants to talk to a robot or a technology who is able to give you an answer like a human or who is able to understand you like a human so this is a human like manner and this provides information similar to a search engine because what you do Uh, while going on a search engine you go to a search engine so that you can get some information regarding to something so this is exactly what the artificial intelligence or what the chatbot does you go to the chatbot you type something you want answer of something and in return you will get that answer and is, and if you are not satisfied with that answer or you want some more information then again you can ask few of the questions and the answer you will be receiving after that so this is what is called a dialogic way of conversation and that is what chat gpt is able to do and this is why the chat gpt is becoming so famous and so revolutionizing in its technique then it is a chatbot is a software that stimulates or simulates human like conversations with users via chat so through chat you will be able to talk to your users then steps to overcome limitations of chat gpt so biggest limitation of chat gpt is that it has a limited data so till now the chat gpt has data only till the year 2021 and many a times that this data can also be inaccurate and can give you wrong information and because people will become so used to it that they will tend to believe that the information given by the chat gpt is absolutely right so in this case that a person can be misleaded by it we need to actually take care of it that whatever we are reading or whatever answers we are getting is absolutely right and we are not getting any kind of wrong answers through it so 
then the government is yet to build a national digital public platform for indian languages if they will be able to do this then we will be able to find the different dialects at one place then reducing the digital divide in rural india because if the digital divide would be reduced in the rural india then more and more number of people would come under the bhashini initiative of indian government then enabling access to affordable technology so technology is a very elite term it is considered to be an elite term because technology means that uh, something related to education and the people who are educated would be able to do that while on the other hand others feel that they might not be able to do that as well as others can do so they need to access so they need to make the technology accessible to other people then comes reducing behavioral resistance to new technologies this is also a problem with the people who are not very used to the technology so there is resistance in people that they do not want to get used to the new technologies or they do not want to actually see what is happening or what is coming in the future so this was few of the steps to overcome the limitations before moving to the prelims mcq you people should be able to know that the with the drishti ias is coming with the uppcs prelims quick revision course that is 2023 and this is starting from 24th of february so any of you who wants to prepare for the uppsc exam can go for this and the like this will be done in the online online live courses via drishti learning app so any of you who is interested can look for it so the last aspect is the prelims mcq and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and the question says consider the following statements regarding bhashini initiative and the first statement is that a small team of ministry of home affairs is building this initiative second is it is an whatsapp based chatbot that relies on information generated by chat gpt so i think you should be able to do the both of the statement because we have done this in the uh, video and which of the statement given above are correct and the codes are one only two only both one and two neither one nor two so try to solve the question and give me the answer in the comment section that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing